Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of Introduction to Chess. In this video, we shall discuss about chess notations. Many of us knows how to play chess, yet we face problem while reading a chess book or listening to a chess commentary. Here in this video, we will try to overcome this problem by knowing how to study chess through notations. I am assuming that all of us know about the chess pieces, castling, and all the legal moves in modern chess. So let us just move on and dive into the main topic. So here is the standard chessboard on your screen. We can see that there are eight columns and eight rows on a chessboard. The columns are known as files in chess language, and they are denoted with alphabets in small caps. So this first column is A file. This is B file. Similarly, this is H file. Okay. The rows are known as ranks in chess and they are denoted with numbers. So this first row from white's perspective is the first rank. This is second rank. This is fourth rank and this is the eighth rank. Okay. Uh, just a quick note. Even if we are playing from black side, the name of ranks and files do not change. The 8th rank is not first rank from black's perspective, it's still the 8th rank. Okay, so the name of the files and ranks do not change, they are fixed and universal. After knowing about the ranks and files, we need to know about the squares. There are 64 squares and each square is denoted with coordinates. The coordinate consists of the name of the file followed by the name of the rank the square is in. So this square is denoted as A1 because it's in A file and first rank. Similarly, this is uh, for example E4, it's in E file and fourth rank. So this is E4. Similarly, this is H8. This is C7. This is G5. Right? And so on. So all the squares can be denoted with this kind of coordinates. After knowing about squares, we need to know about the pieces. So there are six different pieces on a chessboard. Firstly, this is king. And a king is denoted with capital K. Remember, we use the small letters to denote the files and the capital letters are used to denote the pieces. So a king is K, a queen is Q, a rook is R, a bishop is B, and a knight is N. We cannot use another K for knight because we have already used K to denote king. So knight is N. We do not use any kind of letters to denote pawn. They are just denoted with the squares they are in. So this is the a2 pawn. This is the e2 pawn. This is c7 pawn and so on. So till now we have learned how to denote the squares and the pieces. Now comes the main part. We have to know how to denote a movement. A movement of a chess piece is denoted with the name of the piece followed by the square the piece is going to. So here in this video, we will try to understand this chess notation, the movement of the pieces, using a game between Mikhail Tal and Robert Wade that was played in the year 1966. Mikhail Tal was white and Robert Wade was black. We are not analyzing this game, we are just using the game to understand the chess notation. So there is nothing fancy about it. So suppose white begins the game with a move like this. So this move will be denoted as e4. We will not say it is e2 to e4 because obviously only the e2 pawn is eligible to go to the square e4. So this move will be denoted as e4. Black replies with c5, not c7 to c5, it's c5. White continues with knight to f3, n f3 because it's f3 square and knight is coming to the square, right? Black continues with d6, 
the game goes like d4 and here comes the capture now capture is denoted with c takes d4 and it is written as c x d4 a take and a capture is denoted with x so this is c x d4 or c takes d4 knight takes d4 and x d4 the game continues as knight to f6 knight to c3 and so on now i'm just moving forward a little bit and i'll go to a point where either of the side will choose to castle okay so after queen to d2 by white black castles short castle or king side castle right so a short castle or a king side castle is denoted as o dash o which denotes a short castle white continues with bishop to c4 bishop to d7 and so on and game continues like this h4 rook to c8 bishop to b3 queen to a5 h5 knight takes h5 knight to f6 and then white castles long okay so this is a queen side castle or long castle and this is denoted with o dash o dash o which denotes a long castle and the game continues like this i am just uh, fast forwarding a little bit i am not going to say all the moves in this case uh, now a check here comes a check a check is denoted with plus suppose we are going to uh, move number 25 white gives the move knight to e6 okay and then queen gives a check okay so the game goes like queen to b5 check or queen to b5 plus it is noted with plus queen to b5 plus uh, now comes the checkmate which is which is denoted as say we are going to the move uh, 39 white replies with a4 king takes a4 and then queen to b4 checkmate it is denoted as qb4 hash a checkmate is denoted with hash uh, or sometimes it is denoted with double plus queen to b4 plus plus in either way it denotes the checkmate we are going to cover all so in this uh, in this video so suppose white plays a move e4 as i have told earlier say black plays e6 white plays e5 black plays f5 now here white can perform the opposite on black and this move will be denoted as e takes f6 it is not f5 or something else like that we will follow the same rule the name of the piece then takes and the square it is going to so this square is f6 right so this move will be denoted as e takes f6 so this is all for this video i hope you have liked it if you did then please give it a like share it with your friends and relatives uh, in case you have any question or suggestion you can write it down on the comment section i'll be looking forward to it see you next time